All right, I thought I'd go over the uh, the mods that I've made to this uh, Pioneer um, CLD99. Um, you can see here that um, this is all stuffed with tantalum now. There's no more electrolytic there. Um, over here we've got, there's more, but there's also, I used two really ginormous caps because I couldn't fit the size cap I wanted to vertically in here, so I had to uh, had put two sideways. Um, that's actually 3,000 times bigger than um, what was originally there. So that's, that power supply is a lot cleaner. There's also some that more that tucks down in here. This is on the bottom board. Um, there's some other, a lot of other changes on here as well, having to do with tracking and focus gain and all sorts of stuff. Uh, these are um, uh, ten times bigger than the originals and high quality um, uh, electrolytics. Um, over here, we've got a whole bunch of um, stacked up tantalums. Um, this is all in the RF uh, circuit. Um, we want the RF to be nice and clean. Um, that also has to do with these caps. These are ten times bigger than the originals. Um, also here, ten times bigger than the originals. Um, also got over here, um, ten times bigger. These are um, for the for the um, like focus and uh, tracking motors on the optical assembly. So this this is a very noisy part and uh, they had already put fairly large caps here but we put much larger caps there so that of course makes quite a difference um, these all have to do with the uh, uh, RF uh, stages uh, so we want all that nice and clean as well um, let's see um, on this I think that's pretty much it on this bottom board probably some stuff I've forgotten. Um, over here on the power supply, um, there's a lot of changes on the power supply. Um, starting way back here, um, the main power supply cap is just enormously bigger. Um, I replaced the one microfarad cap, which was almost completely toast, with a, uh, a WIMA uh, polystyrene uh, metal film. Um, on the bottom side, you can't really see it, but there's a, a huge MOV for surge suppression. Um, there's also a, a resistor to drain off the cap as well. It's a safety thing they didn't have back then. Um, okay, let's see. All these other caps are just ginormously bigger. Um, I think these started out as 470 microfarad. They're now 4700 microfarad. These are on the main 14 volt rails. Um, just all of these caps have been replaced with super high quality electrolytics that are just enormously bigger than they were um, originally. I've also replaced some zeners and done some other things on there. Um, I changed the value of um, one of the caps that, had, that determined when it would kick in and um, think there was a short uh, because with all this additional cap, initial startup, it needed to have a little longer timeout. <laughs> um, I replaced uh, a couple of caps that have to do with driving the spindle motor with some tantalum because that um, really needed good coupling. So that made for a really nice spindle motor. Um, let's see, on the video board, um, I've made a bunch of changes on that. Um, the video output, um, side now has the amplifier itself has some really ginormously stacked um, tantalums it's also got the video output stage actually has some WIMAs on it on both sides actually um, there's some good reasons for that um, there's a bunch of tantalum um, elsewhere in the video circuit as well um, along with just a lot bigger um, electrolytics down at this end um, same kind of thing much bigger electrolytics that were there originally and um, tantalum stuffed in there as well. Um, I had to put some stuff on the back because um, the tantalums, I put some really big um, tantalums across some really big electrolytics to just really make that you know just complete. Um, I run with a shield off both of these boards. Uh, putting the shield on either one of these boards creates a problem so um, it's better to run it that way. Um, there's other mods, but that's sort of where I'm at um, right at this moment. Uh, the picture is, of course, just ginormously better.